Now, one place that e-commerce dominates in-person shopping is the amount of data that you have available to you about your customers, their habits, their preferences, their history, their location. You know, it's crucial to put that data to work to turn first-time customers into casual or first-time or casual customers into repeat customers and turn repeat customers into advocates. And when you put your customer data to work, you can create personalized experiences that make customers actually feel like you're talking directly to them. It just goes way past the hello first name. So let, let's talk about a few types of campaigns that you should definitely have ready to go for the holiday season, as well as a couple other ones that we're actually seeing a lot of great success with here at Shipping Easy. So the, these email campaigns kind of fall into three different buckets. One is uh, building relationships, one is increasing sales, and then one is kind of like a nice to have type of thing. So for building relationships, you should always have an order confirmation. You know, it, it gives your customers a piece, the peace of mind that you've actually received their order and that you're working on it. And it's kind of a first introduction of your brand to their inbox. Uh, we also recommend first time buyer campaigns. You know, when somebody finally discovers you and decides to trust you to make a purchase, you really wanna thank them for that experience and welcome them to who your brand is, what makes you unique, possibly even offer up a coupon to get them to return for a second visit. You know, that's how you kind of start building that repeat business. So we definitely recommend first time buyer campaigns. And then also feedback requests. For those of you especially who are dipping your toes into e-commerce, getting reviews is absolutely crucial. You know, online customers read reviews, they put stock in them and they trust them. So you need to be soliciting your customers from wherever you sell, whether that's a marketplace or your own site, to be providing that feedback so when somebody is viewing that product, they are seeing what other people are saying about it. And the next bucket is increasing sales. Uh, one of my favorites is the automated offers. These campaigns are powerful because they, they're based on trigger events. So things like somebody's birthday or somebody's anniversary of their first purchase. These ones are actually more effective because they kind of stand out more than a simple promotional email because they, they have more relevance. You know, They have kind of like a reason to exist in that inbox. And so those ones we see a lot of success with for our customers. And then buy it again reminders. These ones are super crucial to people who have uh, products that are finite. So things like supplements, coffee, vape supplies, even you know handmade items like soap or edible products. You know you should be using buy it again reminders. The timing of these will you know, obviously depend on how on your product lifecycle. So it's going to base that's going to be requiring you to kind of use your product knowledge. Uh, but if these arrive at the right time when your customer is starting to run low on products it's gonna keep them from potentially going and shopping with a competitor or just letting it run out altogether and, and not buying again. And if you hit it at the right moment, they're like, oh yeah, I am almost out of that. And it brings them back to you know, create another order. And then win back campaigns, look, not everybody's gonna come back. And there are ways to try to encourage them to come back, oftentimes with some sort of special discount, You know, kind of put in the subject line some sort of compelling, hey, we miss you, here's a reason to come back. Hey, we miss you, here's a special discount just for you. You know, something like that, that uh, we usually recommend usually about 90 to 120 days after their last purchase. But again, that will depend on kind of your product life cycle. But those we find are very compelling to get customers to come back who've kind of gone stagnant. And then a final couple other ones here for the honorable mention, product recommendations are really great in e-commerce. They're, they could be based on something specific that someone purchased, or these can be more global recommendations of like, hey, here's the top products our customers love, and we think you will too. You know, but either way, it kind of gives that social proof or that relevancy to make that next purchase. And uh, we find a lot of, lot of success in those as well. And new signups and subscribers, you should probably, if you have your website, you should have some sort of form to try to collect email addresses. It's a great way to build up an audience to, to talk to. And, but when they do fill out that form, there should be some sort of follow-up. There should be something to let them know that you got their email and introducing them to your brand, telling them what's unique, maybe showcasing a couple of products, and maybe even offering a coupon for signing up for your email list. Uh, but these are crucial to make sure that you know, they don't think that their email just went out into the ether and nothing happened. So definitely recommend new signups and subscriber emails. Now, specific to the shipping process, there are a couple of ways that you can brand the shipping experience, and Kathy's going to talk a little bit more about that here in just a minute. Um, so order and shipping confirmation emails are a must-have in e-commerce. you got to let people know what the progress of their order is. Uh, but we also recommend taking advantage of what's called branded tracking pages. You know, this, this year in particular, there's going to be a lot of potential delays, and people are going to be asking, where's my package? 
And so automatically sending them their tracking number in an email is only the first step. You know, why would you send them to a carrier site when you can send them to one that resembles your brand and has your website links and encourages them to connect with you on social? You know, it makes it feel like a much more cohesive brand experience and there's no external ads to distract them and it reinforces your brand to their customer journey. So there's just a few things to think about, uh, particularly for those of you who are dipping your toes in e-commerce for the first time and trying to kind of figure out how to hang on to the, the customers that you may see this year. Uh, post-holiday when ideally COVID kind of dies back down and we uh, can get people back in stores.